in the video one of this tutorial we generated um, Kraken report of sample one and we had a quick look at uh, what it contains. Um, important thing about the output is that uh, most of the reads that we have in our FASTQ files do not map to the database that we used. And there can be several reasons for that. Um, the first uh, most probable reason is that um, simply most of the um, species that we have in our sample are simply not present in the database that we are using. And um, it is uh, very likely because our database is only 8 uh, GB, so it is kept. Uh, the second reason is a problem with sequencing quality, which is probably not the case because this is in silico generated data. And the third is presence of adapters. To be honest, I haven't checked that, but uh, it's not even important for the purpose of our tutorial. Just I'm explaining you the possible reasons for the reduced number of reads that are identified uh, to have uh, some uh, classification in the taxonomic um, tree. Okay, so we need to run the Kraken2 command that we just ran for the uh, FASTQ paired entries for sample 1, also for sample 2, exactly in the same way. And we are going to get sample 2 report respectively. So what we, so you just copy this command, go back to your Linux and execute it. Um, okay, let's have a quick look at what sample to Kraken report contains. Um, very, I would say, similar output uh, to the um, sample one uh, Kraken report, but um, actually Kraken 2 um, does not estimate relative abundance, it just performs classification of uh, FASTQ reads uh, to or across different taxonomic uh, levels. Uh, Bracken is used in order to um, estimate the uh, relative abundances or the total number of row counts across different taxonomic levels. And uh, this is the next step from our tutorial. So the input for Bracken is again the database uh, path with the um, Kraken and Bracken uh, KMER indices. Um, then we have the report that I just showed you uh, as an input for uh, Bracken. And then we have this L argument which stands for a taxonomic level. And in my case, I chose that we're going to uh, look at the species level. So you can specify genus with G, uh, class with C, so on and so forth. And then this is the output name of the table that we are going to obtain from running Bracken and um, estimate uh, the relative abundance for this uh, particular sample. So we again are working with the sample one. And let's see what kind of output we are going to get when we run Bracken. Uh, Bracken is uh, not so computationally demanding. Um, it runs uh, very fast, uh, even um, with the computational resources that my computer has. Um, but here uh, things are getting even more interesting. So because we chose to work um, with the taxonomic level of species, so we have the name of the species, Microbacterium 
Schaefery. Um, and the other two most important columns are the last two. So um, the last um, represents the fraction of total reads, which is basically the uh, relative abundance. And the newly estimated reads um, represents the um, bracken, uh, newly estimated reads um, that have been um, re-estimated uh, from redistributing the counts across the taxonomic levels, um, specifically um, correcting for errors on the level of species and genes. So we have this TSV table. Uh, this is fantastic but only for sample one. So Bracken has to be also run for sample two. And you have to copy and paste, paste the command uh, on your terminal again. Um, OK, so once you have run um, the Bracken commands, you will need to have sample one report and sample two report which are the outputs from crack you will also have the sample one bracken report and the sample two bracken report so where these bracken reports came from we didn't specify here in the command at all any Bracken reports whatsoever. We just put the uh, Kraken report as an input. So it is important to mention that when we run Bracken and we specify the Kraken reports as input, it also outputs Bracken reports that are in style of Bracken. What did I say? Uh, it outputs Kraken reports that are in style of Kraken. Let's have a look. So you remembered how the uh, Kraken reports looked? So this is how they look. And this is how the Bracken reports look. But what is the difference? The difference is that we do not have the unclassified rates because this is exactly what uh, um, Bracken redistribution and re estimation is taking care of. And now the most important step. Um, most of the time when we have multiple samples and we need to run Kraken and Bracken on each of these um, samples, we need to aggregate the tables that we obtain from uh, running Kraken and Bracken into a single aggregated report that contains um, taxonomic IDs, but also relative abundance of the row counts for uh, the samples that we are analyzing. And um, I have found a Python script that can very easily be utilized in order to perform this task. So the Python script is called merge profiling reports.p. I haven't written it. It was written by a lady. You can check uh, the author um, when you open um, the script. Uh, in order to use this script, we should uh, install in our Kraken environment also pandas with conda. Then it also requires an additional directory uh, that can be easily uh, done with this command. So make directory bracket output. And then, oops, we will need to copy the reports that we obtained with bracket to this newly generated um, Bracken output directory. So just execute this command. And what does this script uh, requires in order to uh, run? So we need to, of course, 
uh, run the script with Python command. Then the input is the directory that contains the uh, Bracken reports files. It will look for Bracken reports file in this uh, directory. And then we have um, output or prefix of the files, the aggregated files that are going to be uh, generated as a result of running um, this Python script. Um, let's go into Bracken output directory. So first I had to mention that you need to run this script here in your working directory, not in the Bracken output directory. Uh, but once you have run it, so if we go to Bracken output, Um, you are going to get two output files. So the first is called merge reads numbers CSV and the second is called merge relative abundance CSV. So I have opened them with my uh, my um, Excel and this is what they contain. I have filtered for tax level to be species, so they contain the tax ID, which is not much informative. They contain the name of the tax, and because we use um, the species, um, we have the species taxa here. We have um, then the total read number for um, sample two and we have the total read number for sample one bracken report and uh, actually it's not uh, true <laughs> that uh, with this analysis we can only check the species level because we use the bracken reports that are in the style of kraken uh, in the kraken reports we saw that we have all taxonomic levels reported and this is exactly the case uh, in the Bracken reports that have similar format to Kraken. So I have filtered so that we uh, see the species level here but if I want to I can easily get the results for um, genus I want it. Okay, yes, you see we have the um, total number of um, reads that were estimated with Bracken on the level of genus. What we don't have here is the full taxonomic lineage and sometimes we need that. And that is only one of the output files that uh, is merged read numbers. If we look at the other, Uh, output files that it is called merge relative abundances. You see here that we have the percentages of the um, relative abundances of this uh, species. And again, we can filter here for the different taxonomic levels that we are interested to um, analyze. Another important thing um, is that if the species uh, was not found in uh, some of the samples, it will be reported as NA. And it is a good idea if we perform downstream analysis later on to change these two zeros. That can easily be done in R. And uh, I will continue with another uh, short tutorial to show you how to add a full taxonomic lineage to such aggregated um, tables with relative abundance or a total um, number of counts for the different samples.